Hi, I'm Dave. Welcome to the channel and welcome to Armco Barrier Continued, part two of my Armco Barrier. This time we're going to add a catch fence to it. So as you know, I've got two hairpins, one either end of my track. And this one especially, because it comes immediately after an uphill gradient, the cars get a bit light if they're going too quick. And as you can see here, this piece of plywood, which is very unforgiving, is quite battle scarred. Not immediately into the corner, but certainly at the far point there, where um, cars just come off and, and do hit it quite hard. I have to say, not usually me, usually my friends, but sometimes me, and it's not good. So before we address that, I'm just going to add in a couple of little fillets of plywood, just as infill pieces around the track there. and a bigger quadrant for that back corner. The plan eventually is that all my pieces of scenery will be on pop-out pieces of plywood. So there'll be a, a kind of a large jigsaw of bits, eight millimeters thick, that are either track or plywood all over my table. So a piece of packing foam. I can't remember what came with this, but it was probably slot car related. This stuff is quite spongy, but at the same time, it's quite firm as well. So, magic of television, here it is cut to shape, a little bit on the end, just to seat it into the corner. Magic of television again, I've sprayed it with some grey primer just to hide it a bit, and put some PVA wood glue on the back. Stick that on there because once it's on there, it's not coming off again. So, that'll do. And now, a couple of pieces of that big, expensive speaker wire. Sprayed primer grey, super glued together. And now super glued to the outside of my bridging fence. Fence? I suppose it's a fence. It is now. Nobody's going to see that, but I know it's there, so it's done now. Right, now using the quadrant that I cut for the corner, I am going to produce another set of my standard Armco crash barriers. If you haven't seen this video at normal speed, uh, there is one. I'll put a link in the description of this video and probably one of those little pop-up things in the top corner of the screen. But if you have seen it, just enjoy this little fast-forward while I make another one. I've got an improved technique for gluing pieces of speaker wire together now. Glue on one, hold it on a piece of wood, squeeze the other against it. That works a lot better and it's a lot more efficient. There's still no efficient way of doing this bit though.
And there, one completed Armco barrier for a quadrant. You'll notice I've used slightly taller um, 5 mil threaded extensions. And we'll get to why in a minute. Using some equal 5 mil studding, or as the Americans call it, all thread. Just going to cut a few sections of that all the same length. Well, roughly the same length. They don't have to be exact. There we are. And now, of course, because they're the same thread as the threaded extension bars, I can just screw them in. And because I can screw them in, I can adjust them all to be exactly the same height, very easily. And now using some 5mm galvanised mesh from the hardware store, lots of people use this for catch fence, it's the best thing. Now, remember the paper clips, here's the other half of the paper clips. I can use this to fix the mesh to the bits of all thread. And because of course there is a thread on there, you don't have to mess around uh, grinding grooves in for the paper clips to sit in, because they're already there. So there we are, that's them all tied in and once again along with the cutters and cut off all the extra bits. And with these ones I found just going around with the pliers and giving them a bit of a squeeze to tighten up the connections really did help. It's a bit fiddly as you can see. So there we are, that's starting to come together now. Now you can get little black silicon caps that for safety reasons are supposed to go over the ends of cut threads anyway. So I've got some and I'm going to put them on. I'm not entirely sure they're going to stay once you see the end result. I might get rid of them again. But I thought I'd try it, because if you don't try these things, you never know. And I gave that a quick coat of grey car primer as well, because I just wanted to dull it down a bit. I didn't want the shiny galvanising. As you can see, the caps are maybe a bit cumbersome, so I might try something else at a later date. We'll go with this for now. Good for me. So this piece should now just slot back in. I've got a little tiny space at the edge of the fence, between the fence and the, the new piece of wall that will stay as a kind of fake access to the track from any marshals that might be behind the catch fence. And there we are. 
as you can see I'm still not sure about those top caps on those posts but it might grow on me I'm not sure so that should in theory protect the cars a bit better than just them slamming into a piece of plywood and that foam there is nice and squishy should any cars take off and the catch fence should direct any kind of stray cars towards the foam bit as always thanks for watching if you like this video you'll find a button specifically for that please subscribe to the channel because then i can open mrs slotar's box soon and if you hit the bell you'll get notifications when i post videos and check out this slot car channel